Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to look at misconceptions about tinnitus and dispel a few tinnitus myths. Myth number one. Tinnitus causes hearing damage and is to blame for my poor hearing. This is not true. We've heard that tinnitus can be a result of hearing impairment, but not the other way around. Tinnitus is not an external noise that can damage our hearing. Sometimes patients are under the impression that in a noisy environment, tinnitus is to blame for not being able to understand other people well. This is not true either. Such situations are stressful for people with normal hearing too. If a person has a hearing disorder, it is even more difficult to filter out the information from the background noise. Tinnitus is just one more noise of many in such an environment, but it is not to blame for someone's poor hearing. Myth number two, tinnitus is getting louder. The myth that tinnitus is getting worse is not true. Usually the way people handle the tinnitus or other stresses on the brain, such as work or personal problems, disrupts the habituation process. Numerous studies show that although many people have tinnitus, they do not suffer from it. It has also been shown that the burden of tinnitus decreases over time. Many patients get used to tinnitus. Some people succeed more quickly, others more slowly. Some also need tinnitus coaching. Myth number three. Stress causes tinnitus. There is no proof that stress alone can cause tinnitus. As you have heard, hearing impairment often plays a crucial role. Perhaps tinnitus is the straw that broke the camel's back. Everything was just barely working in life, but a little extra stressor like tinnitus threw the system into turmoil. Stress can exacerbate tinnitus. If that's the case for you, think of tinnitus as a kind of warning signal of exhaustion. Whenever it becomes too much for you, it signals to relieve stress. If you see tinnitus itself as stress, the stress spiral will be reinforced. Myth number four, tinnitus and health. Some people with tinnitus feel that some diseases or unhealthy diet cause their tinnitus, even though studies have never revealed any firm indication of such a connection. Or they think they are going crazy because the sound seems so penetrating. Live healthy, pay attention to balance and accept tinnitus as a part of your life. Sometimes you can find reports on the internet that tinnitus can be so bad that you do something to harm yourself. Seek help if you are having suicidal thoughts. Usually depression plays a big role here. You can be helped. Myth number five. I can't do anything about tinnitus and only without tinnitus can I be happy again. You've heard a lot in the past videos about what you can do against tinnitus. Even if you can't turn it off, many people get used to tinnitus and live a good life. I have accompanied and coached many patients. They have confirmed this to me. Accept the idea that it is a part of your life. This is the first and most important step. In the next and last video, there will be a summary of everything we have heard. See you soon.